So here's something kind of fun today. Eight inch memory foam mattress, top, bottom. Um, we're going to have to do just a little bit of trimming here. You know, just, just kind of massage this, take this edge off. What happens with the eight inch, um, the way we built out on the wall and what we trimmed, we thought we came in with the carpeting and everything. We even got, we even got material under here. We even got uh, memory foam material under here, AKA foam. Um, and we kind of, we probably bulked that up a little bit too much, fellas. And I don't know if you guys struggle with the eight inch. Maybe if we got the, the six inch memory foam, we wouldn't have the problem. But we're having to do a little trimming, just take a little corner off here and uh, to fit the mattress. So here's the other idea we had. We're gonna be using these spring clips for the Unistrut to mount the boards. And as usual, I will be doing another trip to Lowe's cause uh, yeah, just way too long on those. I'll probably just be able to get like uh, half inch, three eighths inch bolts. I don't know. We're gonna be using some washers that we already had. You guys probably recognize these why not have some tie downs up there you know just in case you want to haul something your traction boards i don't know maybe you're at a swap meet out on the west coast and you pick up some volkswagen parts and you say hey i i got a place i can put those and haul them all the way across the country like a volkswagen bumper you know that's the idea we're going to be reusing these every board's not going to get one but we're going to try to get let's see oh three yeah we can get three boards with the hooks or the tie downs, whatever you want to call them. And that's our idea here, folks. So here's what we got going today. We're looking at some options for some decking material. Now we went with the synthetic here, fellas, okay? But this is ripping the synthetic stuff into two boards. From one board, we got two boards. As you can tell, we cut them in half. We're gonna do shims on the touch points for the corrugations. I know, stay with me, stay with me. I don't know, can we get six of these in here? We're cutting the cost and we're cutting the weight. That's what I'm trying to say. We got an all weather deck up here. We're gonna use Rivnets, Spring, Unistrut, whatever they call them, to lock them in. And we got leftover ProMaster parts. So we're gonna be using those hooks, those tie downs that were removed from the old ProMaster and we're going to repurpose them. So just try to stray with me here. We're, we're taking this big heavy and I do mean heavy. This is always going to be heavy. It's yeah, it's plastic. It's synthetic composite materials. It's, it's science. I don't know what this thing's made of, but it's heavy. It's heavier than wood. And we're ripping it down. We're just taking the guts out of it. We're taking the old saw and we're just, we're saying goodbye to that. We're just taking that out. And we're getting two boards out of it. And where she touches in the middle and where she has a little flex because we're taking all the structural integrity out, big words, big engineering, scientific, physical, physics things. I don't understand. I don't pretend to. We're gonna use little shims made out of the same material on the touch points. It's gonna take a little time, okay? But we're going to be pretty happy, I think, with a all-weather, maintenance-free, lightweight, never have, I mean, lock it down and forget about it, ProMaster deck. So that's what we're looking like. I know the fronts and the backs have the different colors. So we went with the old flip-flop, flip-flop, flip-flop. Khaki sand, khaki sand, khaki sand, khaki sand. Do we put one more here, or should I keep accessibility for the fuses on the solar panels. I think I'll leave accessibility. I could, I could probably cheat one more in there. I don't think I need it. I'll tell you the other idea we have. So this is what we ended up with. We have uh, synthetic outdoor decking, the cheapest at Menards. And what we did, we cut them in half. We spliced them. We turned one board into two. And um, yeah, we're, we're not gonna put a lot of weight up here. We're not gonna walk around, socialize, have gatherings. This is just like if we see something is that we really wanna attend some of the uh, swap meets and stuff in um, California, Pomona. Um, if we brought back some Volkswagen parts or whatever, we would have a place. We could put our traction boards up here. 
this is just basically a storage apparatus and we won't be scratching the uh, ProMaster top. So we could buy ourselves a little bit more room, put a couple more boards in. I don't know, maybe one, maybe two. Maybe we collapse all these things and tighten it up. I don't know. We're, we're gonna see what this does. Uh, we're gonna drive down the road and see if it makes noise. But that is a synthetic deck slash, I don't know, utility storage area. Um, traction boards go up here, like I said. I don't know. I'm just riffing here, folks. But that's that's reusing and repurposing the ProMaster rings that would have otherwise just gone in a bucket, never used again. That's that's what we did here. Got a little project here today to go along with our roof rack. Uh, pivots also. It's 22 inch, made for RVs. It has that special electrification thing that that protection i don't know I have high humidity it's it's wired for rvs um most popular on that jungle website amazon it's got all the fancy connections it's got the hdmi it's got the pc port you can use this for your monitor this is what i'm telling you guys it's it does a lot of things but we're going to get a little um uh digital yeah we're going to try to scan digital channels where we're at it only takes three amps. I don't know what kind of electricity draw that'll have, but if you're into the TVs and keeping up with the news and stuff while you're out on the adventure trail, there you go. That's the uh, 22 inch monitor. Bolt right up there on the old microwave rack. That was today's project with the roof rack. That's really all I got. Mm -hmm.